Yo, 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 what's going on, peoples? What's going on, folks? It's your boy, back at it again. It's Savage with another Street Beast commentary. We coming at you live, man, with an uh, MMA match this time. And uh, we got two newcomers. Or, I don't know, Brandon seemed kind of familiar. I'm not sure if he's so much as new as much as a returning fighter. But, um, yeah, his opponent is definitely new, Benny. I don't think I've heard of him. I don't think I've seen him before. So, you know, you know, respect that. But, um, Brandon, it sounds so familiar, man. I, I feel like it sounds so familiar, just that I can't pinpoint the, uh, the face. But, um, if he haven't been there before, then, you know, as usual, expect the unexpected. And then, with, the, and then with that being the case, too, they're two new guys, so... You know, you're da- you're bound to see some magic, some fireworks, and some creativity up in there. So, man, I don't even really want to say too much. Let's get to it. Uh, I'm just here to have fun, man. I don't exactly know how this is going to go, to be honest with you. I'm not going to call it. Oh, man. The infamous here to have fun. My name is Benny Kaiser. And let the hands do the Street beefs. We got an MMA match for you in this corner. We got Brandon. And this corner, we got Benny. I think Brandon is new. He don't look. He don't look uh, familiar. Make sure you guys go check out Delta Munchies. Twenty-one and older. All children. Slow down and get down and let it be known. A cryptocurrency who are providing opportunities for people through social media and combat sports. Check out the link tree in the description. I right, also go subscribe to your boy. We're trying to hit 30k Let's for the year. Let's get it. Let's Boy, get fellas, it. Y'all wanna come to the middle? Let's Touch get gloves. it. It's good sportsmanship, man. Touch at the gloves. Conduct yourselves as yeah, men. Benny looking kind of big over there. Benny, you gotta come ready, boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Benny trying to come in the inside. A little lead leg kick. Benny, Brandon trying to. Uh oh. Brandon to uh, change his level for a takedown. Right, let's we'll see what he's going to do with it. Trying to pass. Look like he passed. Okay, cool, cool. Get in the half guard. He, he was very low at the waist. He needed to come up some. Oh, no, he didn't pass. I'm sorry. But, yeah, he was very low. Oh, nice. I mean, if that works. Oh, tried to lift him up and do it again. Benny, Brandon, Benny. Shoot, I forget his name. Benny recognized it. <laughs> Uh-oh. There you go. There you go. He's, uh... You're trying to stop him from uh, slamming him down, but in the same token, he can. Brand, brand, uh, Benny could leave himself open. I'm gonna just call him Mullet Man. Mullet Man can end up leave himself open, but he kicked him off real decent and got Brandon on his uh, stomach. He's on top of Brandon now, trying to go for something, but Brandon did a good job uh, scrambling to get back in the uh, top position, or still trying to get back in the top position. I kind of feel like Brandon may be a wrestler. Uh, I'm not. You give off that kind of vibe a little bit. Either a wrestler or a grapple oriented fighter. Mullet man trying to shrimp out. What he need to do, he need to, uh, to shrimp out to his uh, outside and try to regain guard. But Brandon was able to get on that, get him out. And he got his leg kind of like interchanged up to make it more difficult. He kind of like made it to his back somehow. Brandon trying to lock up a choke, but he don't really have it. He got back in, he got Mullet Man back in the uh, mount. Brandon putting down a heavy pressure, man. Now he's throwing down ground and pound. Mullet Man taking shots, man. He's trying to fight his way up out of there. He's a warrior, man. He's trying to give it it all. Illegal elbows coming out. Good grief, man. Brandon was smothering mother, mullet man. You got to change it up this time around. Throw some strikes and discourage him a little bit. Mullet man trying to find his uh, pacing. Trying to find his range. Trying to get in and out because I think Brandon may be the longer fighter. Brandon throwing a little jabs here and there. He don't seem too concerned with the striking. I think he want to get in close and try to uh, take him down though. Man, he's taking some shots. Oh, man, Mullet Man staggered him. He dazed him. Look, he, sh- he went for the shot. That's how you know he hurt. There you go. Mullet Man throwing down strikes. 
I think what he should do is just keep throwing out the head. I, I feel like Randy may be a little hurt. I mean, if I was by a mother, man, I'd try to, like, start bringing off shots to the head. He done made it to the back. You need to try to work the hooks in so that way he's less likely to fall off the back. It seems like he got him, though, in some kind of choke. He got him in a choke without the hook. Wow, and he got him the tap without the hooks. That was nice. He recognized the finish and went all in for it. So, Mother Man did have some kind of training. He shouted out his coaches, uh, Kendall Grove, and I think he said Charlie Olives. I'm not sure. But, um, hey, I'm not going to call it. Uh, I can damn near believe it almost. Right. Like, yeah, he still needs some training or whatnot. I need to work on the bases or whatever the case may be. But you can't argue with the results, man. Like, he kind of had, like, a little bit of ability here and there. He didn't stay on his back. He didn't allow himself to get, like, intercepted into the position. Like, he didn't accept the position. He pretty much was trying to work and fight for the submissions or either getting out of the position. So that was a pretty good job by Brandon. I mean, not Brandon, but Mullet Man. I would like to see a little bit more striking on on, uh, on his part and work on a little bit more striking and um, bring it together, man, because I think he really has something to really, like, you know, to do something real good with, you know. I don't know if they still doing titles and stuff like that or people's champions or whatever in Street Beast, but if they if they is, they still is, then he has the potential to pretty much, you know, to make it that far or whatever the case. Same for Brandon. Um, like to see a little bit more hands. He seemed to be more grapple oriented. Like I say, I feel like maybe he's a wrestler of some sorts. But um, yeah, like a little bit of more hands will open up the, that that grappling for him, so that way he can make it easier to try to like sneak in takedowns and um, take it around to where he to where he's comfortable or whatever the case may be. But um, both guys did good. It was a very decent fight. Um, and I don't really got too much else to say about it, man. Good fight, guys. Hope to see y'all guys back. But um, other than that, man, that's a wrap. Man, that's a wrap. That's it. I got some reaction videos of my fights that I'm working on. And um, I plan on releasing those sometime soon. I just got to get these out here and done with. And um, yeah, I'll see about when I can bring those out or whatever the case may be. So um, just stay tuned for that. But um, if you're new here, man, this is your boy Kid Savage, Street Beast Fighter 1 and 2. Um, go follow me on my Instagram at Pharaoh Savage, I think it is. Follow me on my Facebook, it's my name. Or just type in Kid Savage and you'll be able to see, see me or whatever the case. And um, yeah, like I say, man, I'm still going to continue bringing out the little, the bringing out videos and stuff, whatnot. Try to do something a little different in here and there, whatever the case. And um, got my own reaction videos that I'm working on, actually. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, man, y'all stay good, be easy, and uh, stay safe out there. With a black face, last time I kept. With a square, I graduated. Uh, passion can't erase it. Bring my future to my present. You could say I'm